Well, welcome. Welcome. My name is Dr. Joseph Arve. I will be your, um, you know, for a man to jump into this whole hormone world is a pretty brave step. So take it easy on me today, okay? Um, I have them too, exactly. But guys, see, it's a five minute workshop to guys. Don't do this, don't do this, don't do this. And actually, How about midlife crisis? I, you, I don't have a midlife crisis. Sure, no way, I don't know what you're talking about. Actually, we're gonna talk about that. Um, but it's, 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 it's bad. Um, you know, with holy hormones and hormones and, and your body and how everything works together, this is not an easy workshop. I could do easily eight hours on, on one, on estrogen alone. And so realize that it's, it's some of you go, well, I've heard that before. And I'm going to say, well, how much of what you've heard are you doing right now? Well, uh, so that's the part of today is I'm going to show you how to take back your life take back your hormones, take back your, your sanity, uh, and really begin to live again. Is that okay? And before I get started, because I get really passionate for those that, you, that know me, I mean, we've been in this location for 23 years, and we've helped a lot of people. Uh, I am a chiropractor for a lot of the, the different Olympic teams, for uh, the Colorado Rapids, we should take care of them. I've been helping mommies and daddies and babies and children and families for the last 25 years, 23 years right here, get healthy and strong. And so if this is your first time here, go ahead, please. And everybody should know he got rid of my son, scoliosis. Yay! Yay. Here we go. Yep. Yeah. We have to do that. But, 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 but we have lots of fun. We have lots of fun. Thank you so much for that testimony. And we do have fun. So if you're a guest here, if this is your first time meeting me, then you know, guess what? Have fun. Is it always this way? Is it always this crazy and fun? Yeah, it is. It is. It actually, made, some days it may feel a little more crowded, okay? But that's okay. We're going to have fun. Um, before I do get uh, off on my tangent about hormones, I want to introduce ve two very important ladies that are here today help supporting us. One is Miss Debbie Hardy. Stand up, Miss Deborah. She is the queen of resilience. Please give her a clap and hand. And you need to hear her story as why she is the queen of resilience. She has been there, done there, lived it. She's been through heartache. She's been through blessings. She's an author. She wrote this book, Free to be Fabulous, 100 Ways to Look and Feel Younger at 40, 50, and Beyond. Can I get an amen? Amen. And so she has her books here today. First, go ahead. Interrupt me. Exactly. And she's a patient of ours. Exactly. So there you go. And, and she's here to promote her book and, and bless you with her book. They're $12. But if you'd like a free book, it's real simple. You invite 10 of your friends to your house. She'll come do a workshop on how to be, on how to be fabulous. And, and the person who hosts the party gets a free book or everybody who attends gets a free book. So, so have a barbecue, right? This is her, okay. <laughs> They have just dessert. Skip the barbecue. I, I go, sorry. Again, I'm a man talking on hormones today, right? So, we'll have tea. But uh, yeah, so, and make sure I do this right. So, invite 10 friends over, serve a light dessert. Just read the line here, Dr. Joe. Then we will come talk for 20 minutes and sign all the books. Additional books can be purchased, but not necessary. So, it sounds like a fun party. So, please, if you want to do that, take her up on that afterwards. Um, and, and get her books. Uh, whose birthday is it today? Whose birthday was it this week? <laughs> well, there you go. Ha do you, you have this yet? Then happy birthday. There you go. Amen. There you are. There you go. Now you get your friend to sign it. See? See? I'm trying to see if I want to celebrate. No, no, no. We'll celebrate that. And then last but not least, we have one more lady, the lovely Miss Eileen, my wife. Yay! And to, today is not about doing more. It's stop doing what you've been doing, right? Stop sabotaging your health. And so with, when it comes to her, the beauty counter business and the skin, basically this is the non-toxic way 
to balance your hormones because you're going to learn that lady and men that literally every day you put on 475 toxic chemicals that cause hot flashes, weight gain, craziness. Okay? And I say that with love. I say that with love. Because here's the thing. Your family doesn't think you cra you're crazy. You do. It's all this internal clock and talk inside because everything's out of balance. And you're like, and we're all like, and, and, and when I do this, my family's like, you're fine. Oh, no. You know, we all do that, right? We think we're the only ones that have this problem. And no one else does, but you're going to learn today through what we do and how to get healthy and how to get strong. And give you some solutions and have some fun. Is that okay? All right. And we're videotaping. So, um, you know, we're going to blast this out to you guys. You'll get a copy of it. Um, if you don't, I hopefully you'll sign up with your email and your cell phone number so that we can get this to you and, and bless you with it. All right. Very good. Very good. Okay. So, holy hormones. You know, remember watch Batman back in the day? Holy whatever, Batman. You no, know, that's kind of the holy hormones, right? So here's the thing. When it comes to hormones, oh my, bang, boom, zam, kick, right? So the thing is, is that when it comes to hot flashes, when it comes to weight gain, when it comes to mood swings, when it comes to night sweats, whether you're a man or a woman, why? That's what I want you to understand, why? And when it comes to what, and when it comes to why, the basic thing is interference, okay? It's interference. So here's what I want you to understand. If you understand this poster, then, then you'll understand why things get out of balance. And with the poster, here it is, okay? What color did God make grass to be when it's healthy? Green, Green right? Green. God didn't make grass to be brown all the time or dirt. He made it to be green. And so he made you to be healthy, right? He made you to be strong and healthy. But if I step on the garden hose that goes to your grass and we begin to turn down the life or the water going to that grass, what does your grass do? <laughs> it begins to react. It begins to get out of balance. Things begin to change. That grass is no longer acting like it was created to. And as a result, now you start noticing brown grass, right? Brown grass. If I stay on the hose and I do nothing about the brown grass, then what colors my grass turn? dead or dirt, right? Now, <clears throat> I can do all I want to treat my brown grass, but if I don't ever get off the hose, it's going to turn to dirt. If I get off the hose and turn the water back on, what does my grass have to do? So you're not stuck. In other countries, menopause is not an issue. People go, women are supposed to go through that, and men, right? And it's supposed to be a transition of life. It's not supposed to be a medical condition or a medical industry making trillions of dollars every year. I'm going to need a cup of water, please, or my water bottle. And so if you understand that, I'm going to refer to a lot of this, that, men, that, that, that hot flashes and weight gain and mood swings and night sweats, all that stuff is, is brown grass. <clears throat> that it's not supposed to be there. Something's wrong. And we're not going to focus on what magic pill can you take to cover up the brown grass. We're going to talk about what can I do to help you start living and getting yourself back to green grass so that life becomes back into balance. Okay? Life comes back into balance. So let's get started. That's what I just talked about. Again, interference is what's causing your hormones to be out of balance. And <clears throat> when I look at all the science and research, I mean, I'm in my 25th year of being a chiropractor uh, and a maximized living doctor, which maximized living is like an elite level of chiropractic. There's only 400 of us in the country. And the thing is, is that we take what's not your traditional doctor's office, but when you read all the textbooks, when you read all the science, when you read all the literature, the answers to being healthy, green grass, the answers to getting your body healthy and strong is found in these five essentials. So like thinking, does thinking matter? Stinking thinking. Can you think yourself sick? Can you think yourself out of control? Well, guess what? If you can worry yourself sick, then you can worry yourself healthy. You just got to worry about the right things. Okay, it's just, you know, meditation is simply positive worrying. You know, <laughs> telling yourself, no, I'm strong, I'm happy, I'm healthy, everything's going to be okay. It's just as easy as telling yourself, you're no good, look at you in the mirror, blah, blah, blah. It's just a matter of switching it, right? It's just a matter of making the right switch. And we'll talk about nerve system in just a minute, but food. 
food can make you healthy, food can make you brown grass, food can make you green grass. The question is that you've been lied to so much about what food is and what it's not, and we're going to talk about that. Exercise, all right? Now, about exercise, literally, if you could get from green grass back to, I'm sorry, from brown grass back to green grass in six, six sorry, my mind mind's that. My <laughs> wife's here. It's those hormones. And... In six to 12 minutes a day, you could balance your hormones and get your body burning fat and losing weight. That's the kind of exercise I'm talking about, and I'll teach you that, and I'll help you with that. And again, if this may sound weird or too good to be true and too basic, that's why we've made this very, very complicated, especially in America. And then toxins. You're going to learn about xenoestrogens that are just wreaking havoc. You know, if I was... If I was king of the United States or president of the United States, and if I really wanted to make my, my, my people uh, have hot flashes with gain weight and mood swings and night sweats, it'd be very simple. It'd be very simple to make you unhealthy. All I have to do is make sure that on TV, on the internet, is a bunch of drug ads, a bunch of bad news, and a bunch of things to get you worried about, and a bunch of reality TV shows to get you hooked on so that you don't go out and take care of your family. Okay? I could, I could make sure that no one ever takes care of their posture, that kids wear heavy backpacks, that doctors pull real hard when the, when the baby's head comes out of the womb, or we use fat forceps or vacuum extraction or cesarean section, right? Or we can, you know, or, or I can basically put anything on the shelf and promise you a bunch of things and you'll buy it and you'll eat it no matter what, right? And then I'll tell you, I'll make you so busy that you'll never get outside and play with your kids or have fun. And I'll re slowly replace everything you touch, everything you store your food in, everything you drink. I'll invent a microwave oven. I'll invent fast food restaurants. I'll invent this quick, 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 quick way of, of eating food that really isn't food anymore. And I'll let you do that for the next 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 years. That's what I would do if I was president, if I really wanted to make my people sick. Oh, isn't it kind of what's going on right now? I mean, the thing is, is that I've spent the last week, you know, kind of walking around looking that if 7-Eleven's my shop, place where I shop for most of my food, or if Walgreens is where I shop for most of my food or supplies, or, some, or King Supers, or even Whole Foods, or, or even a lot of the health food stores, and I don't know how to maneuver my way around these stores, then guess what? You're stuck. You're stuck in a sick society that's going to produce your hormones to be out of balance. And so your hormone symphony is controlled by your nerve system. The main garden hose that keeps everything working like it's supposed to is your nerve system, right? The players in this game, so the pituitary, the, the th hypothalamus, you know, the, the different sex hormones, these are all functioned and controlled by the nerve system, right? I mean, one day... 20, 30 years ago, when you were still interested in doing things as mommies and daddies, right? You got together and you had a fun night and all of a sudden, boom, your first child was conceived. Now, let's talk about that for a second because in this office, we, we want God to do the healing, right? So how many times, if I can keep this G, how many times do a, does a biological act happen between mommy and daddy, but there's no conception? You know what I'm saying? Not every time there's a biological act is there conception, but when there is conception, that's just not a lucky by chance thing. That's the power of God deciding that that day conception is going to happen. Are we all on the same page? And then once conception happens, the first thing that's formed with this power of life now, it's inside mama's belly, is your brain and spinal cord. Your brain and spinal cord then grows nerves, and that's what grows the male organs, the female organs, that's what grows the hormones, that's what grows the symphony of life, the heart, the, 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 the lungs, the, the female organs, the male organs, the ovaries, everything in that womb in nine months is developed and is grown perfectly in God's image by the power that you have now in you, right? And then when you're born from birth to up to 120 years, okay, 
You're, everything's supposed to work just right. Does that make, now, if you've never been taught that, that's what all the medical textbooks teach. That's all the books I've read. But unfortunately, when I see people walk in here, I go, that's not what's happening in your life. Something's wrong. You're brown grass. You were created to be green grass and be perfect, be healthy, right? The problem is, is that things with how we think, how we live, how our spines are, our food, our toxins, our lack of exercise, basically do this to us. Can you see that? So when you start to lose power, God's power, the way God designed your body to work, no longer works that way, and then things get out of balance. Everything gets out of balance. Today it's just hormones. Does that make sense? So everything I'm going to teach you isn't just to get your hormones better, but it's going to make everything better. And like the back of my new business cards say, God is still in the healing business. He hasn't left you. He hasn't forgotten about you. There's no need to worry. You're going to leave here powerful and strong. You're going to leave here powerful and strong. So again, in the symphony, in the, in the band, in the symphony, right, they all have to play together, right? They all are reading the music. They want, you just can't get the estrogen section to play louder, <laughs> right? Because that'll mess the whole song up, right? Or you just can't take some, you can't go in for testosterone shots and expect everything to get better because it won't because that messes up the symphony. They're all in balance. The, the, the conductor writes the song so that everybody plays, all the players play the same way, right? And again, the number one control of these players is the nerve system. Progesterone, right? Estrogen is the gas pedal. Estrogen is, what is the hormone in charge of making things in your body. It's part of the creative process. Testosterone is your personality. It's your sex hormones. That's what's in charge of. Uh, pro progesterone is the calmer. It's the break. So when you have progesterone and estrogen levels in balance, you're okay. But if you, be, if you enter into what's called estrogen dominance, then, you know, I've made a few jokes about that. I won't today what estrogen dominance is, okay? <laughs> but it's not, when you, it's not when you're the only man in the family and you got five daughters, although that might be estrogen dominance, okay? <laughs> but cortisol is your stress hormone. Okay, when you get stressed or when you don't exercise the right way, you actually increase your cortisol levels, your stress hormones, and that makes you sick. That makes you brown grass. And the last one is your thyroid hormones, right? When those get out of balance. So when these are all out of whack, can you see how that would make you go to brown grass? And then you're taught, well, just let's find the whatever pill, cream, or lotion you can do to, to make this one work, but then it throws the whole song off, and it doesn't work. And that's why you don't get the long-lasting results that you need. So, estrogen dominance, how, and you're, we're going to go into this a little bit deeper, but estrogen dominance can happen, right, because stress, because of your diet, because of other nutrients that get into your body that don't belong there, because of environment, because of what's fed to your feed, to your, to your food that you're eating, and then other things, the medication you're taking. All these things, you're like, well, I do all of that. I know, we all do all that. We're all, all to a certain extent have estrogen dominance going on. We can't escape it. We live in this world unless we live in a bubble, right? So yet, but I want you to know where it's coming from. So how do you know if you have estrogen dominance? Okay. I don't know. I just, I just know, right? Don't ask me again. <laughs> so, so the thing is, is that if you're irritable, consistently irritable, okay, things that shouldn't bother you do bother you, okay? Anxiety, if you're worried, these are all signs of not that you're 40, 50, 60 years old. Well, you know how it is. No, something's wrong. Again, again, how were you created? What was the original plan, right? To be kind, to be loving, to be peaceful, not constantly being irritable. In hot flashes, right? Hot flashes. And I have some different theories on hot flashes, but again, they're not, not to be something that ruins your life, okay? Insomnia, you can't sleep at night. Weight gain migraines, depression, especially when you're really trying to do everything right, this, doesn't, this will not go away. These are signs of estrogen dominance. And unfortunately, we're seeing this in younger and younger and younger children. You see this in schools. Yes? I just read not too long ago that in Boulder, in the reservoir, there are so many female fish born and not male because of the birth control pills that go down the toilet. Yep. Yep, we'll get into that. Absolutely. Absolutely. So if you're wondering, ah, hormones, whatever, I'm just here for them, or I'm here for her. But no, if this is going on, then that's signs of estrogen dominance. So now, so, 
that's okay. So um, hormone replacement therapy, you, you're going to have the video and we can get that to you, okay? So trust me, you know you have them or not. It's okay. <laughs> so when I have estrogen dominance, then the problem is, is that, well, you go to the doctor and what does he give you? Pill. Cream. To make one part of the band play louder. Did you get them all? Did you get them? Okay. If you're like me, you know, you, know, you, know, you know what I do nowadays? Let me just give you a real quick tip. Get your camera. Take a picture of the screen. Done. That's how, that's how professional seminar takers do it now. I'm sitting in a seminar tangent right now. These kids are, I'm like, I see these kids. Done. Done. What are they doing? I'm like, oh, what a brilliant idea. So now I'm, I'm in church, you know, got it. So, so here. Where's my phone at? I'll take a picture for you. Okay. So, so let's just take a pill, right? So now you had hormone replacement therapy because it should be that easy, right? Maybe a short-term solution, but long-term disaster because, again, estrogen dominance, I do hormone replacement therapy, and now I cover up the brown grass. Have you done anything with the hormone replacement therapy to get back to green grass? No. So why are all these studies now saying that when you take horse urine as hormone replacement therapy, that now women has an 8% chance each year you're on it of breast cancer? Yeah. Because you keep getting worse and you keep going towards dirt because you're not getting better. And so when they looked at it, that not only did it prevent, not only did it not prevent heart disease or strokes or Alzheimer's, it actually made it worse. And that every year you're on hormone replacement therapy, 8% chance increase. So if you're on it for 10 years, now you have an 80% chance of getting breast cancer. And what is the stats for this already? What yeah. And it keeps, and is it getting worse or is it getting better? It's getting worse. So we know, good idea. I know, probably invented by a man. Let's get a pregnant horse to pee into a bucket and we'll make medication out of that and give it to women. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Come on, ladies, you guys put up with way too much stuff from us. Way too much. And then the problem is this. Finally, the Women's Health Initiative said no more, and they stopped giving women horse urine. And guess what happened to the rate of breast cancer? It went down for the first time. So again, doing less of what the medical world says is actually good for you, and doing more of what God says and how to get your body healthy and strong is actually, it actually works. That's why I'm just saying. Some of the things, let's just stop doing it and your body will do a whole lot better. That's the funny thing. So what are the causes? Why are the hormones get out of balance in men and women right? and children? Well, first of all, it's, the, it's what you eat. Second of all, it's toxins, xenoestrogens. I'll talk about that in a minute. And then stress. These are the three things we're going to focus on today. Now, is there, is there 12 more hours of teaching I could do and get real nitpicky? Sure, but I'm not going to because if we just started here, you're going to see a lot of things that you can do. Okay? All right. So, first of all, the food pyramid. Okay, we're, 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 we're aware of the food pyramid, right? Again, if I'm king for a day and I want to make, make my people patients, and I'm a doctor and make them patients, then I'm going to invent this food pyramid that says eat lots of grains, right? Uh, then eat a little bit moderate of vegetables, then, then have some meat, and very sparingly limit the fat that you eat. That's the normal food pyramid right now that they're teaching. The problem is, is that there's way too much sugar, and then way too much sugar, so, so I, eat what they teach, I, I eat what they teach us to eat, which is the food pyramid. That overloads my body with sh in sugar. Sugar, the body has to react. Again, it's a symphony, right? Then cranks up my insulin, okay? When my insulin gets cranked up, my cells can only store so much insulin, so it dumps the excess into fat. The fat then stores all that extra insulin and sugar, so then you start getting that tire around your tummy, or your start, body starts gaining weight, and you don't know why. And you try to lose weight, you try to exercise, and it won't come off of you because... The fat is storing the toxins, and if you lose that fat, then those toxins start moving towards the organs. And your brain's like, I'm not going to let that happen. So it's just a net. So in every meal, that goes on. 
one day at a time, seven days a week, 365 days a year for the next 5, 10, 20, 30 years, do you think your body's going to be out of balance? Do you think your hormones are going to be out of balance? Do you think you're going to be at brown grass and yet you're following everything they tell you to say or to do, to eat? And so it's very hard. So what are estrogen dominant foods? Well, you can have the all the time diet and you can have the once in a while diet. If any of these foods here are part of your all the time diet, there's your sign. Okay? I don't care if it's National Donut Day, you don't have to get up and go eat a donut. <laughs> you don't have to, unless someone held a gun to your head and said, eat a donut or else. But we do, right? Well, it's National Donut Day. I have to somehow go to Krispy Kreme's or whatever and eat a donut because if I'm not, then I'm weird. And then I can't post anything on Facebook. Hi, look at, you know, it's just how we get sucked into this thing. Well, it was free. Well, so are kicking the heads. You want one, you know? <laughs> I actually, that, I actually had a patient many, many, many years ago come in and he says, oh man, my arm. And he, I said, what's wrong? He said, oh, I just got a flu shot. I said, why? He said, they were free. And I said, well, so are kicking the heads. You want one? You know, <laughs> that's why. But again, again, all these foods made by man or made by God? Man. So if you put food made by man in a, in a body made by God, are you going to get green grass or brown grass? Brown grass. Now, if I have a Big Mac, does my body have the ability to ward it off and, and get rid of it? Yes. But if I have one every day or two or three a week, guess what? Boom, you just tip the scale. You tip the scale. All right? And, 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 and don't make sure I talk about heat when I get to stress, please. Okay, thank you. Now, here's what your nutrition plan should look like. Here's what we teach here in the office. Fill up on good fats and vegetables and moderate, and mo okay, vegetables and good fats. Fill up on veggies and good fats. I'll talk about what those are in a minute. Nice picture taker back there. Then you want, then you want clean meats. You want meat. Meat is okay for you. Meat, meat is good for you if it's raised the way that God intended to raise. If it's raised in a plant or a corporation, then it has a negative toxic effect on your body. Then fruit. Fruit is still sugar. So we'll talk about how and when to eat that. And then, healthy grains and when it comes to grains you want the longer you have to cook the grain the healthier it is for you so organic not uncle ben's five minute rice not the little pack of oatmeal right some people do steel cut oats things like that but really we try to avoid grains um and, and a lot of dairy products if you're trying to get healthy if you're brown grass then grains aren't your friend they're going to do more to sabotage the process once you're green grass then we start to sow grains back into that process okay so for the men Okay, ready? Here comes the five minute men talk, okay? Every time men, every time your, your wife and kids go on a diet and you eat a certain way at home, but when you go out, you stop by 7-Eleven or wherever. You never tell your wife you're doing this, but every time you eat sugar, especially man-made sugar, you're lowering, lowering your levels of testosterone by 25%. By 25% that you literally are sabotaging things that you don't want to sabotage, okay? So, here's what happens. <clears throat> when you're in your 20s, rock and roll. When you're in your 20s, you can eat whatever you want to eat, okay? And again, when I take care of Olympic athletes, they're drinking Diet Coke, McDonald's is the number one sponsor. Why? Not because it's good for you, it's because you're 20. You can get away with it, right? No, no but you're really not getting away with it. But you're, you think you're getting away with it because you're like, hey, you haven't tipped the scales that much, right? <laughs> but then you're in your 30s and start to, you know, get, oh, he's so cute. He's a little pooch on his belly now, you know. <laughs> then your 40s, then your 50s, and you hear men say, what can I do to lose this gut? Yeah. Stop going to 7-Eleven. <laughs> And the thing is that as men age, you produce less testosterone. Why? That's how God made you. You're not supposed to be making babies all your life. You, you can still keep practicing, but you're not supposed to be keep making babies all your life. That's just for Mrs. Arby there. And you begin to store more fat. But now, that's how men are portrayed, but that's not how God designed them. Okay? That's not how it has to be. So when Time Magazine says menopause, that what happens? See, the problem is that when you start eating and when men start eating and they stop exercising 
and they stop going out and doing things like this, they actually become feminized. That's the problem, is that this is a feminization of man. Estrogen dominance kicks in, testosterone levels go down, and because they're not out chasing things and killing things, they're not working the field, they're, not, they're sitting in front of a computer, they become sedentary, they worry, they stress, they don't tell you, Bob, they stress, they worry, right? Their diet changes because they don't have time, they don't have time to exercise, their posture, you know, everybody else can go get adjusted, but not them, and their posture shuts down, right? And literally, start to, and, and, and so their bodies no longer become men. So that's why we have to do things to become men. We can't go out and kill bears and things like that, but we have to make sure that our routines make up for that lost society's change of how we do things, right? We stop, we stop farming, and now we go to, to, to factories, and we sit all day, and we just do this. And that has a toll on our bodies. And so, ready here, it's coming up. So menopause. So understand, men, I want you to change your diet. I want you to start coming to the workshops. I want you to start doing everything I tell you to do. Because again, if you don't want this to happen to you, again, I'll be 50 in a few months. It's not happening to me. It's not happening to my friends. We're seeing, we're, we get older, but we get younger. I'm stronger now that at 50, almost 50, than I was at, at 20, 25, 30. Okay? Do I have to work hard at it? I wouldn't call it hard, but I have to be consistent? Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't just happen, right? Because if you don't listen to me, then this is what's going to happen. You're going to start, you're going to lose your hair. And then certain parts of your body are going to shrink. <laughs> and so if you're wondering why that happens, you're going to brown grass. So stop going to 7-Eleven. Stop eating the crap, drinking the crappuccinos. Don't laugh, women. Your turn's coming next. <laughs> but listen, this is videotape. Men, listen to me. Pre going bald is not because your grandfather on your mother's side was bald. Yes, there's some genetics to it, but it's the sugar, it's the stinking thinking, it's the lack of exercise, and it's the busyness that's causing this to happen and causing this to happen. Okay, so where do you start? Where do you start to start getting things going back from brown grass to green grass? The first thing is in fat. Say, I need fat. Because everybody's on cholesterol medication, which sucks out the cholesterol, which is a sex hormone. We need it for testosterone, but we need fat. Right now, the problem is, is that when you eat all the things we've talked about, the American diet, that makes your ratios of fatty acid ratios from uh, ratios of omega-6 to omega-3 get out of balance. When your fatty acid ratios get out of balance, that throws the hormones out of balance, and that creates brown grass in your body. So what can you do to start bringing things back into the balance? And the first step is to get the right fat back into your body. There's really no such thing as a good fat or bad fat. They're fats. You need them. But the problem is, is the majority of the food that we're eating right now is heavy on omega-6. So that creates a ratio. We should be 2 to 1 ratio of omega-6 to 3 or 4 to 1. But the standard American is 25 to 30 to 1. So there's the ratio. Schizophrenia and depression is like a 78 to 1 ratio they, when, they, when, they, when they test it in the blood. So the worse your ratio gets, the more brown grass you have, and if it doesn't get corrected or brought into balance, then it, you turn to dirt. Body parts shut down or you shut down. Okay, that's the problem. And so that's why, and when we looked, we, tried, we, we re do this research, and we say, okay, we need to start taking better omegas, better, better fish oils, in a, in a perfect ratio, and we couldn't find any. So we had to make our own. And so it's called optimal omega because it's the optimal ratio. And that, again, every day I take this and it helps bring my body out of estrogen dominance back into balance. And again, as far as cardiovascular health, hormone health, I think one of the reasons why I still have hair, again, because of my testosterone levels, because of the fatty acid ratios. I notice this. I'm not gray yet. I got a little bit of gray. Got a little, 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 little bit of wisdom going on here, you know. But I just, I just contribute a lot of, of my hair and my ability because my parents uh, both had heart disease, right? I don't want that. So I contribute a lot of the success simply to getting the right perfect ratios on a daily basis. So I encourage you to get that today. 15% uh, off on that. And then what are we going to eat? Well, you have to know fats. We're going to get you to teach you how to have more healthy fats into your diet and what those are. So you're, you're already eating food. I'm just going to get you to replace the heavy omega-6 food into food that actually has a good ba balance and ratio. Then we're going to talk about protein. What kind of protein should you eat? I read an article about 
what they feed the cows, and when you eat that, it makes you brown grass more than anything else. So you have to make sure you have clean meats coming into your body, organic, naturally raised. Animals raised the way God designed them to be raised. And the last thing is carbohydrates, right? We don't teach a, a high fat, low, it's basically moderate, but you just gotta know, you gotta eat food. There, that's the first, first, thing. first plan of balancing your hormones, eat food, the way God made it, just eat food. There you go, you know. But we're gonna get, eat more vegetables, eliminate refined grains and refined sugars. So fat, what is fat? Here's what, fat, here's what good fat is, avocados, nuts and seeds, <coughs> fish, fresh fish, and, and, and healthy oils, right? What are bad fats? Well, margarine, done more for the heart disease community and, and whacking out our hormones than anything else. Because who made margarine, man or God? It was made in a plant, not from a plant, right? <laughs> Colonel Sanders, okay? Bad fats in all these different things and in french fries. And the problem is when you, when you eat this stuff, it's not like, okay, for the next 24 hours, I'm gonna be, I'll be a little overweight. This stuff stays in your system for weeks, if not months, and keeps causing things to be out of balance, okay? So that's why we're gonna get good fats in our body. What are some examples of good fats? Well, butter, if it's organic, or grass-fed butter, okay, or raw butter. Uh, ghee, right, Donna asked me about ghee the other day, okay? It's a clarified butter, it's, it's just a different form of butter. Coconut oil is your friend. Olive oil is your friend. Avocado oil is your friend. Sesame seed oil is your friend. <coughs> eat this right now. And some of you eat as much as you want of this, right? Some of you need to eat a whole stick of butter, of organic butter, smear it on your thighs and get the fat into your body. <laughs> because that's what's making you be out of balance. Okay. <laughs> now, if this is in your house, it needs to go. Vegetable oil, corn oil, canola oil, right? Soybean oil. A lot of health food stores still feeding you things with canola oil in it and calling it healthy. It's not. Canola oil is, is genetically modified rapeseed. It does not belong in your body. Be careful. Soybean oil, margarine, any refined oils, smart butter. Yeah, not very smart because it says hydrogenated or partially hydrogenated oil. So you got to get that out of your system. You gotta get it out of your house. Go home right now, I was gonna give you all garbage bags and you start pitching it. Well, I paid good money for it. Yeah, it's, it's making you sick, it's making you sick. So you gotta get this out of your house and get this into your house. So, protein now, so that was fats, protein. Commercial meats have been linked to cancer and heart disease, why? Because when you eat meat that was raised by man in a man's way, it has a brown grass and dirt effect on your body, does that make sense, okay? When you eat meat that is raised the way God wanted it to be done in a natural sense, then it has a green grass effect on your body. That's the cool thing. And so, you know, this poor lady said to her husband, I warned you about the hormones and all that meat and dairy you eat. <laughs> Can you see that, Sierra? He's got a tail and he's got udders coming off his belly there. Okay, good. Yeah. And so what is the difference? Well, what we do, and, and we'll talk about going to the farm next week, is that we do grass-fed and grass-finished beef. Why? Because again, there's no antibiotics, there's no hormones, and these, and these cows are raised naturally two, you know, two and a half to two years to mature, two, to, two, two and a half to two, five years to mature. That's grass-fed, that's how it's supposed to be. And next week we're gonna go to the farm and see how it's done, right? And then have a barbecue. Okay, and dessert. So, when you feed, okay, if, if you, how do you make a cow fat? What do you feed it? Grain or corn, right? Now let's make it look like corn, but not even be corn, some kind of a science experiment, right? So these cows are fed in feed lots, not on their open range. They're given antibiotics, they're given hormones, and they're only given one year to grow. You know why they're only given one year to grow? Because if this cow lives three, four or five years, they get all the diseases we get now. They get degenerative disease because they're raising them on things that cause, but if I, but I kill them off in a year, then they don't, they don't develop, right? So when you eat this, all that goes in you and makes you, green, makes you brown grass and makes you dirt. So any changes we make, we start with the meat we're eating, right? And we get the grass fed back to bring our fatty acid ratios back into balance. So again, you have a flyer with you 
basically, it's gonna, the, the barbecue, the, the tour starts at 12. We're going to go till 3. We're all going to meet down there. We don't have one. I have more coffee. Right. But we're going down to Corner Post Meats. It is a farm that we get our grass-fed, grass-finished meat, uh, cow, lamb, chicken, uh, eggs, um, bacon if you want some pigs, organically raised, organically fed. So I thought it would be cool to go down there and take a tour of the farm. And I thought maybe a handful of folks would want to go. Well, there's a lot of people who want to go. So we're going to meet here at 1030. What time? 1030. And we're going to caravan down. Okay? So we, we all can't ride together, but we can caravan down as far as liability reasons. But we're all going to show up at noon, take a tour, have fun, have a barbecue, and then we'll be done at 3. Okay? If you want to go, get signed up so we know how much food to have ready and things like that. Okay? And we can go from there. But questions after that. So, now, what about carbohydrates? As far as carbohydrates, you've got lower glycemic, moderate, high, and refined carbs. And so, basically, here's a chart that I wanted to check it out, right? <clears throat> it's all about sugar. If the more on the higher glycemic index, the more it's going to have a sugary effect on my body. And again, sugar, insulin, fat production, brown grass, dirt, hormones out of balance. I don't care if it's watermelon, it's, it's got a high glycemic index, right? Dates. Well, God made them. I know he did, but right now you're brown grass. You can't eat some of these things because your body's going to turn it into uh, sugar and, and throw you out of balance. So some of my patients, don't, they go on a fruit fast because it's sugar right now, all right? But vegetables, broccolis, 10, peppers, lettuce, mushrooms, onions, green peas, carrots, why am I not a big fan of you downing carrot juice every day? It's high in sugar. Now, you can do pepper juice every day. I'm teasing. But, <laughs> but you have to watch out with beets. Beets are high in, in a glycemic index, and so are onions, right? But that doesn't give you the right to go and eat pizza either, because that's, oh, that's only 33, right? But bagel, so just, you know, anything less than 55 is considered low glycemic. Medium is 55 to 69, high is over 70. So some of you, you said, okay, I'm only going to eat things that are lower, that's on a low glycemic index, that will start bringing your hormones back into balance. What's the difference between the onions with yeah. 10 and, and then 75 at the bottom? I don't know. I didn't make the chart. Sit down and behave yourself. <laughs> <laughs> these are white onions and these could be Valdelia or sweet onions. I don't know. And again, what I love about this book is that when you, okay, you know, the, the, the hardest part about changing what you're eating is snacks and desserts, right? So what do you do? You don't, you don't give up desserts and muffins. You find a better way of making them. And in our, cruise ship, in our cruise ship book and in our green nutrition book, there's all kinds of awesome, you know, smoothies, all kinds of different, you know, how to make flaxseed bread, you know, how to make different things. If you've been to our recipe nights, you know, pumpkin pie, almond pie crust, chocolate bark, frozen yogurt, chocolate coconut pudding, uh, chocolate mousse, zucchini cake, brownies, raw brownie balls. Simple. So you're not like growing on some mountain and sitting just eating rocks, right? I'm saying. <laughs> and what I would suggest you do is if you don't have this book yet, get it and start making your desserts healthier, making your cheat foods healthier, make your snacks healthier. So you start bringing things back into balance. Okay. That's what I recommend. And, you know, because it has all kinds of goody stuff in there. And on June 22nd, we're going to have a recipe night where you can start making all these foods. And I'm going to talk about how to say no to GMOs. Okay? We'll talk about how to do all of that. Now, everybody say toxins. toxins. All right? Technically, they're known as xenoestrogens. Now, this is a dirty trick. You know, there's a verse in the Bible that says the devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus come to give life and give you a way to be back to green grass. Right? So, that's exactly what it says. <laughs> Dr. Joe version paraphrased. But here's the thing. So, soy. Toxins. It doesn't just make you sick. It acts like an estrogen. And it jumps on your cell like an estrogen. But it doesn't have a healthy estrogen effect. And it actually makes you sick. Crazy. Looks like an estrogen promises to be an est est estrogen, but doesn't act like it, right? 
So, ladies and gentlemen, when you're dating each other and you're making promises to each other, oh yeah, I love your jokes, ha ha ha. But then you get married and something happens. It's like it all changes. And so xenoestrogens now begin to creep in. And so the problem is, is that, where are they? See, xenoestrogens are plastic size. Anything is plastic. Plastic water bottles. And they mimic estrogen. Oh yeah, I'm an estrogen. Sure, I am. Go ahead, go ahead. And yet it wreaks havoc on our body. Soy, phthalates, soy. These have mimicking effects and they kick out the, bad, the good estrogen, allow the bad stuff to come in and it makes your body get out of balance. So what do they look like? Around the home, anything contains parabens, phthalates, pheno, whatever that word is. Where does it come from? Coffee, canola oil, commercially raised beef and chicken, pesticides, herbicides, right? And then average American ingests a pound of pesticides a year. But you don't know where it's at. And so, especially ladies, maybe in some men, that it's in your body lotion, it's in your deodorant, it's in your foundation, it's in your blusher, blusher, blush, blusher, it's in your hairspray, it's in your shampoo, it's in your eyeshadow, it's in your lipstick, your perfume, your nail varnish, and your fake tan. Now, why do you do all of this? Who do you do it for? So we're responsible, right? But the point is that 475, 400, 475 chemicals a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, starting at age 13 if you're lucky. In our house, 13, right? But can you see how, why, can you see why you're out of, out of things are out of control? So that's where it's at. And again, as we look at, you have to beware. You have to beware of what's going on. So breakfast. What can you have for breakfast that wouldn't sabotage you? Yogurt. Yogurts. Plain yogurts, right? So plain yogurts because that's going to be the lowest sugar content. Well, should it be organic or maybe raw yogurt from a dairy or coconut yogurt? Could be. Because again, what do they feed dairy cows? Huh? Crap. Yeah, crap, right? <laughs> so you got to understand, doesn't matter what the person who makes it says on the label. You have to know where it's coming from. You have to know what it was fed, what it was given. Organic's always your better bet, right? So eggs. Um, I'm not against steel-cut oats, but if you're unhealthy or you're trying to lose weight, then they're going to sabotage the process, okay? Because your body turns those grains into sugar, okay? And it causes inflammation. And cancer and heart disease love inflammation, all right? And so, um, but breakfast, uh, you know, lunch, snacks, dinners, all those things, you know, that's when you have an opportunity to bring yourself back to green grass. Just because you might blow it for breakfast, you still have the rest of the day to, 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 to make up for it, okay? So let's talk about stress. Cortisol, right? Cortisol levels. When you increase your cortisol levels, you increase fat storage, high blood pressure, glucose issues, metabolism, right? So when, you, cortisol, when, you're, when you're stressed out, your body no longer metabolizes and you gain weight and get sick because of that. And it looks like this. When you're stressed out, it's not just being mad, right? Your subconscious listens to what you're thinking and says, okay, if that's what she's or he's thinking, then that's what we're going to make. It's all about your subconscious simply obeying everything you're thinking about yourself, about your family, about life being hopeless, about that I can't get better. Your subconscious is listening to what you're telling yourself and it will follow through every time. So when, and that cranks up the cortisol levels and, it, and that has a very negative effect on your body and that's what can lead to hypertension, chronic fatigue, sleep deprivation, migraines, tunnel vision, acid reflux, hostility, hunger, arthritis, decreased immune system, decreased metabolism, depression. Can you see that? So if you do anything to bring your cortisol levels down, what are you now tapping into and affecting? Not just one thing, but you are making everything, right? 
So if I water the whole yard, not just that patch of brown grass is going to get better, but the whole yard's going to get green, right? So what I give you in these five essentials doesn't just balance your hormones, although it will. It gets everything better. So you don't have to keep doing this for that and this for that and this for that. It takes everything better. Is, that, is this making sense? Is this helpful today? Good. So. But, but cortisol level, isn't that the fight or flight? Fight or flight. It's the, it's the six Fs. It's the six Fs. It's fight. It's flight. It's feeling. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So, so cortisol is there. So if a bear is chasing me, ah, I'm going to run. The problem is in Americans, the bear is always chasing us. 24 7, wake up, there's the bear. Okay, let's start running. <laughs> go to bed. Oh, I can't go to bed because the bear's right here on my side and I, I, I keep waking up. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't leave. So, good point. Yeah. So, it's, it's, the, it's the six F's, if I can think of them. Right? Um, it's, food, it's fight or flight, it's food, it's feelings, it's fat metabolism, and sex. <laughs> so, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a. It's a that's what my notes said. That's what my notes said. So when I told, I told some of you this is going to be a fun talk, right? So, so chronic stress and weight gain, right? Weight gain. Well, stress goes up. Cortisol levels go up. And again, heat. Heat. If I'm healthy green grass, and it's a 100 degree day. But I'm healthy green grass. I'm getting watered like I'm supposed to. It's hot, but that 100 degrees doesn't necessarily have a negative effect on me, right? right? But if I'm not being watered like I'm supposed to, and I'm brown grass, and it's 100 degrees, how does that same stress affect somebody else? Completely different. So it's not the stress. It's your level of health or your perception of that stress that really makes it toxic or bad for you, right? Some people, oh, I don't know how you can do that job. Well, I, I love it. I'm good. I'm strong. I'm healthy, right? it's not having it but it's the heat it's not the heat it's the health of the grass so something may you know people look at me and go man you, your life makes me crazy well that's okay but it does I like it right you know my wife cannot keep up with me and I don't expect her to right we talked about this the pace that I go at is good for me but I don't have I don't put that on her okay and she doesn't put the pace of her life on me either Right? It's just who, just who we are, and we respect that. So sometimes when I need something done now, that may mean a week, and that's okay. I have to be okay at that, and not let it stress me out. I can't expect everybody else to be at my same level. That's all right. That's fine. Okay? We can work on that later, but that's okay. <laughs> but again, so when someone says to you, oh, don't worry about it, well, guess what? You're going to worry about it. Tell, they don't understand, because to them, that may not be a stressful situation. But to you, you're perceiving, ha, are you kidding me? That guy cut me off right now. He, maybe he's going to the hospital. No, he ain't going to the hospital. He intentionally said, if I see that car today, I'm going to cut them off. And it's I, I, a personal vendetta. I'm just saying. But the problem is, is that that's going to make you gain weight. Cortisol, leptin. Leptin is what tells your body to stop burning fat. Hunger. Oh, now I'm hungry. Let's stop at 7-Eleven and get some munchies. Fat storage, and then your weight goes up. So again, we have to get some peace. And let me help you get some peace. This is your stress kit for today. <laughs> so you take this here. You put it on a firm surface. <laughs> follow directions in the circle of the kit. Repeat step two as necessary, as much as you need to, until unconscious. <laughs> if unconscious, then cease stress reduction activity. I told you I was going to give you some takeaways. So if, if you've read Stephen Covey's Hab Seven Habits of Successful People, you know, and the thing is I've been doing this, we've been doing this for 25 plus years of trying to work on ourselves and be healthy and things like that. And there's a lot of gems in that basic, basic book. Basic, basic book. And so what I'm going to teach you now, again, you don't have to listen, right? Wait 20, 30 years and go, oh, that was so easy, right? But there's four areas of your life that you live right now. And where you spend the majority of your time is why it, it could make you brown grass. It could throw your, your body. It may cause you to stress more, right? And so you have different parts of your life that are urgent, 
right? And they are very important. And that would look like a crisis, medical emergency, pressing problems, like I got to get my taxes done, you know, drive, driven deadlines, last minute preparations for scheduled activities, right? Oh, mom, by the way, I have a report due. Well, we're leaving for 15 minutes to school. What do you mean you have a report due, right? Uh, urgent. <laughs> and this is the bear chasing you, right? This is quadrant one. Quadrant two, it's important, but not urgent, right? Important, but not urgent. So that's where you're preparing your, your meals. You're, prepa you're planning out your, your year. You're doing things to prevent, you know, things. You brush your teeth because you want to prevent tooth decay. You, you go on a date once a week with your spouse because you want to prevent divorce. You have values of clarification. You know, you have exercise. Some guy said, what? Once a week? Oh, oh good. there's your sign. Relationship <laughs> building, true recreation, exercise, right? And, and again, we'll talk about what that is right there. Okay, and this is a quadrant of quality and personal leadership, right? And all the moms are like, yeah, whatever, right? This is a quadrant of necessity. But now you have quadrant three, where interruptions, some calls on the cell phone, some mail and reports, some meetings, many pressing matters for somebody else, but not necessarily you, and many popular activities, right? And this is a quadrant of deception. We think spending more time here is going to make us happy, and it doesn't. But then you have quadrant four, where you're, to where you're doing just trivia, busy work. I call it creative avoidance. <laughs> you know you have things to do, but all of a sudden you decide it's time to polish your shoes for whatever reason, or let me see what somebody's up to on Facebook, or you start surfing the web, or you get into a... I saw one person say a Netflix power surge where you just watch one movie after another or you get on Pinterest for an hour after hour after hour. I've been guilty of that sometimes. But messages, time wasters, escape activities, internet, quadrant of waste. So let me ask you, where do you spend the majority of your day? That's your question. That's your question to answer. If it's always in putting, on, putting out debt fires, that's why you're stressed out. If you're not spending any time here, that's why you're not happy with your life or who you want to be. If, the, if you're spending your time here, that's why you're the busiest person you know, but yet you have least to show for it. Okay? So let me help you. Let me help you. Everybody look in your pack that I gave you and pull out your checklist that says... Great life plan. Great life plan. Because what I want to teach you is how to live in quadrant two. Quadrant two is things that are important, but not necessarily urgent right now. But if you don't, make, but if you don't take care of them, then, they'll, then they're going to jump into quadrant one. So, great life plan. Wake up on time. That's a good idea. And start to think about good things, not, oh, crap, what I have to get done today, right? Because then you jump into quadrant one, and you don't want that. Then you get up and drink some water. Why? Because your body needs water. Take your nutrients. Get your workout in, right? Do your protein shakes. If you have time in the morning, get your adjustment in. Take care of your spine. Have a lunch. Work on your spine and your, your exercises because that releases everything healing in your body. Get a midday snack. If you're an afternoon person, get your afternoon adjustment. Then have a healthy dinner. Do your protein shake. Keep your spine nice and loose and go to bed on time. If you will put this first, right? If you'll put this first, first things first, then do all the other things. You're going to keep moving in the right direction. But if you get on the internet, and I'm not picking on anybody, me, me personally, right? There are certain things I do and I don't do on purpose. I put blinders up. I don't read my mail. I don't look at my mail. That's Mrs. Arve's job or the, or the team's job. I, don't, I have no business looking at that. There's nothing in there that's going to help me give you a better adjustment. It's just going to distract me. So there's things I don't do, right? I don't change the oil in my car. Why? Because I don't have to. Right now my car is broken down. <laughs> it really is. At Lowe's on 136. It, I'm driving. I'm like, all right, pull over. May come get me. And Troy was here. He's like, I can't believe you're so calm. I'm like, it's a car. So what? Get it laid down. Let's get adjusted. Done. 
Because I've spent my time right here, right? I spend my time here. Now, how many of you would be like, I can't think about anything else, but my car broken down, and I'm like, it has nothing to do with my day. If I focused on that right now, I'd be giving you a mad workshop. And you don't want a mad workshop. Some of you have been to them. That's why I, that's where I do spit and get in your face and, and then, you know. But again, like you've heard me say before, crap happens. Get over it and move on with it, right? But the reason why I give you this checklist isn't like, well, this is a nice little checklist. This is where I want to spend your time first. First things first, if you do this, you'll balance your hormones. You'll have the energy to be mom or dad. You'll get in great shape. You lose weight. You'll, you'll, you'll be healthy. You'll be strong. You'll be vibrant. And you'll get back to green grass. Once you've done this, then go play. Go have fun. But you make time. See, what, these different quadrants, is there time I allow myself to read emails? Yeah, but not until all this is done. Is there times I allow myself to talk to people and things like that? Yeah. But not, but not until this is done. Are there times this has to happen? Yeah, but this is not as bad because I've spent more time here. Is this making sense? And we can talk all day. on This is another whole workshop. But again, what do you do? If you want to get back to green grass, spend your day doing this and plan it in there. You know, And then plan your week. Make a war plan. When are you going to take your kids out for fun? When are you going to date your daughters or date your sons? When are you going to date your spouse? When are you going to go on vacation? When are you going to call your mom or dad? Because they're not around forever. When are you going to call your sister? Well, whenever. That's not a good enough answer because then that creates brown grass or dirt relationships. When am I going to eat healthy? Well, when I get back from, you know, when am I going to go on? You just map it out and start doing it every day. Start doing it every day. Is that helpful? Now, here's a really cool thing. What about exercise, right? What, what can I do to fix all of this in 6 to 12 minutes a day? It's called Max T3 Exercise. It's a high intensity workout for a short period of time. And I gave it to you in your workout. Just follow this sheet. There's four workouts in here. Come with us on Saturdays at 8.30 and work out with us. I'll show you exactly how to do it. And it's not about looking buff and strong and healthy. It's about balancing your hormones out. Tapping into that testosterone, it's still in your body. The estrogen, the progesterone, the cortisol, the thyroid, it's all there. You just think, we just been taught that it's going to come from a magic cream or a pill to make us green grass. And no, unfortunately, it's called squats, push-ups, jumping jacks, lunges every day, right? To bring your hormones back into balance, which then will get your body to burn fat and detox, which then lowers your insulin levels, which then decreases your sugar levels and gets rid of your sugar cravings. How about that? How about that, right? And so decreases your, the exercise designed to decrease your cortisol levels. And literally you can burn fat for up to 36 hours afterwards. Okay, isn't that good news? Unfortunately, I'm sorry, it's called exercise, <laughs> right? And we had fun doing it. And it's huge, it's huge as far as insulin. And so again, now what else can I do is is take the max fit. <laughs> the max fit, I, again, we had to create this because there's nothing out there. It has the ashkawanga in it, which helps lower cholesterol levels. It has the green uh, coffee extract, which helps control appetite. So first with me, when I want to make sure my heart doesn't end up like my parent, my dad or my mom's heart, then I want to make sure I'm doing everything I can to lower my cholesterol levels and keep healthy and strong. When you go out for jogs on the treadmill for 30 minutes and don't get your heart rate up, you're actually cranking up your cortisol levels. These marathon runners, when they run marathons, are they big and buff and strong or they kind of have the saggy skin, right? The problem is that their, their cortisol levels are jacked up so high that they're literally now eating their muscle due to the exercise, okay? And so that's why, so that's why we love the Max Fit and what it does for us. I take it every day. I, I'm convinced with my son, Luke, and my children, but especially Luke, because I had a chance to catch him in time. You know, when that fifth grade came, you know, Hormones started kicking in, and so I put him on vitamin D and the max fit and had him do the, do the kind of extras I'm talking about, and he just sprouted through sixth grade, seventh grade, eighth grade, now going to be a freshman, a joy to be around, never had those hormone issues, things like that. Mrs. Harvey doesn't allow them anyways, but, the, you know, that's okay. You know? And then finally, again, what controlled all the hormones? The power, right? The power. And, and, and your brain and spinal cord was what controls all this. Again, forget everything I've just taught you about fat 
and about toxins and about stress management because if you don't get this part right, you can take all the vitamins in the world, but if your brain's only able to talk to your body that much, it's not gonna matter. All the money you're spending on vitamins or, or detox programs or stress management isn't gonna work and it doesn't matter, so throw it all away unless you get this next part and then we'll be done. But it's all about the power going through your body. And so, you know, your brain and spinal cord we talked about was the first part to develop. And so, the power that made you in the womb, because what would happen if the baby comes out of five months and not nine months? What's, what's wrong? What's, why is that a problem? It's not developed. The hormones are out of balance. The lungs are out of balance. The heartbeat, everything's, out, everything's not, not done yet. Well, what does that is the power that God put in this baby, this body, that's developing it. And it has to be at 100% or full power, because you hear me say after your adjustments, right? Power's on. What are you talking about? That's, that means you came in like this and power's on, right? And so it's all in here. And so the cool thing is that there is a way your spine has to be straight from the front and good posture from the side if you want your hormones to keep you in balance and be at green grass. Your spine is what allows that to protect the garden hose. But if you're always texting, right, or on the computer, right, are, what are nursing homes full of? People who aren't like this, but what are they at? And it wasn't because they had bad health insurance or because they didn't have enough Walgreens in their neighborhood or enough prescriptions. The average 60-year-old's on 12 different prescription medications, right? Is that no one ever, the king, no one taught them about how to take care of their spine, their posture. They, did, they didn't realize as soon as, that, as soon as that baby's born and we pull on the head and it begins to lose the power, we need to get that baby checked right now. Get the power back on and then let that Because, again, Luke, right? He's, he's 14. He's healthy, right? So if we just keep doing what we're doing, how should he be when he's 30 or 40 or 50? Or, right? So just, just don't screw it up, Dr. Joe, right? Just keep it green. You know, how hard is it to keep your grass green? Especially the last few months, right? But we're so focused on brown grass and treating that that it gets very tiring. No, it's just simply keeping green grass. So when we look at an x-ray or the spine, it has to be in the right position in order for everything to work right. But what happens is that over time, the doctor pulls too hard in your head. That begins to th make things go from green grass to brown grass. Because think about this. When is your grass in trouble? The minute I stepped on your hose or the minute you noticed the symptom of brown grass? See, if you just get that one thing, realize, well, I don't feel like my hormones are out of balance. Good. Now do something to keep them in balance. That checklist I gave you will keep yourself in balance. Don't wait until you get to brown grass to start watering the grass. Focus on living a way to keep the grass green, right? That's what healthcare is. That's what we do in this office. Maximize living. Hello? That's maximizing, right? Because we maximize those essentials, then you're going to get the life you want. Well, here's the problem. What part of your spine, what part of the nerves dictate hormone balance? It's right in the neck. Well, what part of the head did the doctor grab when you came out? The head and neck. And so the problem is, is that right in this upper area right here is your serotonin, is your cortisol, is your thyroid hormones. And if that nerve gets kinked, that's supposed to keep those things balanced and healthy, then every day that nerve stays kinked, are you healthy or sick? Because if I cut the nerves, remember Christopher Reeves, right? He broke his neck. What happened to his hormones? Everything shut down, right? If he breaks his leg, does, does his organ shut down? No, everything shuts down. So that's really where the power is. And that's why I, like, I don't worry about your nutrition or your exercise or your detoxing until we get the spine open first and get, you, get, the, get the water going back to the, to, to the grass. Then all the other stuff matters. And so that's the thing, is that when you lose this, when, you, when your posture goes like this, and it begins to stay that way, that's the first thing that brings your hormones out of balance. And so if you have headaches, or depression, or acid reflux, or blood pressure issues, or you got pain down the arms or the legs, if you're not sleeping, if you have dizzy spells, or any kind of back pain, that's brown grass, and those are serious warning signs that something's wrong. And again, in those five essentials is where, we, is where we find the answer. The number one is the nerve system. And again, that is not my rule. 
That's what all the medical textbooks and the research, re, research says about helping you live and deliver the promise, right? So here's the hierarchy that we learn, right? When it comes to keeping you healthy and keeping you strong and balancing your hormones, we have to go with what's most important. So food, right? How long can you go without food? If you watch Survivor, people go 30 days without food and they lose weight. And, you know, they, they, they can go without food, they won't die. So food's important because if you don't get enough of it, then she, you will die. But then what about water? You can go a few days without water and then you die. So in the hierarchy of how God made your body, water is more important than food. Make sense? Now, what about air? Okay. Some people can hold their breath for three to four minutes, you know, maybe not, you know. So that's, that's shorter, right? So air is more important than, 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 than water. But if I cut the nerve to your heart, what happens to your heart? Yeah, the message to tell it to beat, to beat, to beat is not there, so it dies. It doesn't know what to do if the brain doesn't tell it. So you can't go one second without a mental nerve impulse, the power that God put in your body. So that, scientifically, is the most important thing that we focus on first if you want to balance your hormones, if you want to raise a healthy family, if you want a healthy child that doesn't drive, drive you crazy because of hormones, if you want to be at green grass. That's where we focus first. Not because I'm a chiropractor, because this is what science and how God made your body. Does that make sense? That's how it works. I mean, look at Christopher Reeves. He broke his neck, right? Power off. Everything affected. And so the first step is that if you're a guest or if you have any family, if you're a patient and you have family members at home that haven't been checked yet, I want to check and see what this top bone in the neck's doing because this top bone in the neck is where the brainstem is and that's what affects hormones, cortisol, th thyroid, all those different things we just talked about. And, if, and I don't care how well your diet is, if that bone's stuck, you're not going to get the results. You're not going to be as green grass as you should be or could be. It's right there. It's that simple. And so when we're done here in a few minutes, ha, 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 ha. He said, you won't be done by 11. I said, watch me. The thing is that if you have not had your spine checked yet, then please, 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 please guests, please, make an appointment with Leah before you go. Leah, raise your hand. Okay. It's $40, not 100 not $5,000 if you go to the hospital for x-rays and stuff. It's $40. And that's for you and your family. We'll get a set of x-rays of your spine, see if there's any kinks in the hose that are causing any imbalances. Or you may feel fine, but you all said the, the, the grass was in trouble the minute I stepped on the hose, not when I noticed the symptoms. So some of you, some of your children, maybe your spouse, may be right here. But they're on their way to brown grass. And if we can get the x-ray, see an x-ray tells me whether you're healthy or not, not how you feel. Cancer, heart disease, diabetes, Alzheimer's, you feel fine the first 75% of it grown in your body. Then you start feeling bad. So if there's a test that we could do to see how healthy you or your family is, to find out why your hormones are out of whack and get things healing, or, if you know, or prevent that from happening, it's the x-ray of your spine. It's the examination. So please, I'm getting there. So see Leah, it's $40, not per person, but for, this, for today, for the whole family to come in. That's my gift to you. We are serious about saving lives here. We are so serious. And God has blessed us. And you, people coming in here, we're, getting, we're, we're helping a lot of people. Okay? And we'll continue to get better so, we, so that we continue to help you. But again, this is one of the largest pediatric practices in, in the country. One of the largest practices. Why? Because God's here. He's healing. And again, we need to check you. We want to get you better. So some of you, this is a divine appointment to get better. This is what you've been looking for or praying for. And we want to get, help you get better. Okay? So $40 for your whole family. See you, Leah, today. Make an appointment if you're a guest. If you're a patient and you haven't gotten your kids in and get checked yet, or your, or your husband, they may or not have come, but at least get whoever can. Get the kids in here. Let's get them checked. We'll figure out later what to do with them. Right? Am I, am I, am I right, patients? I, I know what to do with them adjustment-wise as far as the finances and stuff like that. We'll figure that out as we go. And then everybody pull out your check card. Pull out your card right now. Please. This is important to me. Before you go, I want you to fill this out. 
or fill it out right now while I'm talking. Put your name on it, email, cell phone, city. And what I want you to check is, hey, I want to get my cortisol back to normal. And I want to come work out with Dr. Joe in May and see how it's done. My daughter may, not in the month of May. My, Dr. Joe. <laughs> so every Saturday we meet here at 8.30. And guess what? It's free. It's 17 minutes of fun and excitement and high-fiving. And we have a good time. So if you want to do that, check the box. I want to come to the Father's Day Farm Day barbecue. It's not on Father's Day. It's on that Saturday. Okay? But if you want to come to that, check the box. So we get you plugged in. If you've already signed up, great. But that way we know how much food to have for the barbecue. I want to come to the No GMO Recipe Night on Monday, June 22nd at 6.30. Check the box. We'll get you the recipes. You pick which one you want to make. You make it. You bring it. We eat it. Right? Miss Stephanie last time brought a killer peanut butter pie that I'd have paid money for. It was good. It was good. It was real good. I'm still talking about it. It was good. Now, we have an online test that we can analyze all the areas of your life that may be causing brown grass. It's free. It's online. If you want us to email that to you. If you've taken the old LRQ test, lifestyle risk, we have a new one. It's easier, it's shorter, and it's better. We're improving it. That's how we do nutritional consulting. It gives us a number on a scale of 1 to 100. Where are you at? Okay. So check that, and we'll email it to you. And it's funny, Deb, we're on the same guideline, same thought process, because it's like, look, you know what? If you, if you like this hormone talk, and you want me to come do it at your work, or your school, your team, your church, or at your home, check the box. We'll contact you. I'm filling up my speaking schedule right now for the, for the, the summer and the, la, and, the, and the end of the year. And we'll get it taken care of. Okay? Amen. Very good. If you want to schedule an appointment, see Leah. If you want to get product with the Max Fit or the Omegas, everything on the shelves are 15% off today. If we, happen, we only have limited supplies. If we run out, then don't worry. We'll order it for you. It'll be in next week. But again, it's been a blessing to have you here today. Who got at least one thing that they can change? Good. Did I do my job for you? Yes. Amen. Give yourself a hand then. Be blessed.